Well, new research confirms how much sleep impacts weight. Experts say don't underestimate the role that rest plays in your overall health. And Dr. Anupumjit Sekhan is joining us to break down this topic. She's a sleep medicine specialist with Kaiser Permanente and Fontana. Good morning. Boy, are we glad to see you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for having me here. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, doctor, lots of people waking up this early have an issue with sleep. Can we talk about how it connects to your weight? Yes. So uh, let's talk about the recent study that took people who were sleeping chronically less than six and a half hours a night. And when they increased their sleep time by an hour and a half, they saw they were consuming 270 calories less a day, hence predicting if you continue sleeping seven to eight hours a night, you will lose weight over time. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I mean, trying to figure out what's going on with my midsection. I think you just gave me the answer, doctor. Uh, can you improve your sleep and, and, and can it help you like lose or maintain a healthy weight by doing so? Yeah, it, yes, it can definitely. So if you sleep seven to eight hours, there are two hormones that control or maintain weight, the hunger hormone ghrelin and the satiety hormone leptin. If you sleep well enough, you, the ghrelin levels, they go down and the leptin levels go up, which means you eat less, so you are in a negative energy balance and hence you maintain weight or you lose weight. So we know we crave unhealthy foods whenever we are sleep deprived. Can we talk about how we improve our sleep? Yes, definitely. That's a very good question. So some basic sleep hygiene techniques like, you know, keeping a consistent sleep wake schedule, avoiding foods that worsen your sleep, like caffeine within eight hours of sleep, alcohol within three hours, you know, drinking uh, alcohol, smoking, uh, or even um, using electronics near bedtime or in bed. And last but not the least, getting time or making time to sleep seven to eight hours. Okay, Suzanne, you got that. Amber, you got that? Alex, <laughs> we good? Uh, yeah, what about, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, what do you do when you have this weird sleep schedule like us? We're waking up at two in the morning, doctor. Yes. So you try to make, so if you're waking up at two in the morning, you wanna make time or budget time to sleep seven hours in terms of you start going to bed early. You move your clock early so that you get seven, seven and a half hours before you can wake up. And there are ways that can help you, you know, move your clock forward, like, you know, using light boxes early in the morning to advance your phase so that you can sleep on time because you know it's easier said than done to sleep early. All right, that, that could possibly work for the married people, the bachelor folks out here. <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> it right? may be a little tough for us, Doc, but thank you so much. We appreciate it. We have written down all the tips and glad Those to have you on with us as well. Amber's <laughs> love over here laughing because she knows it all real, right? Yeah, it's all real. Thank you, Doc.